In a world with growing need of connectivity and information availability, small satellite fleets have the potential to provide us with worldwide and real-time coverage for applications such as communications or Earth observation. However, this would require hundreds of satellites and currently, their production and launch are costly. In the last decades, satellites have used rocket engines to propel themselves. They use chemical systems that need great amounts of propellants, thus increasing the satellite's mass. Electric propulsion thrusters stand as an alternative, as they consume much less propellant than chemical systems. However, while it has been already included in many satellites, electric propulsion still shows limitations. Currently, mature electric thrusters are electrostatic, such as the gridded iron thruster of the Hall Effect thruster. They use noble gases as propellant. This gas is ionized, accelerated to produce thrust, and eventually neutralized using electrodes. These electrodes are difficult to manufacture and to operate, and they are expensive. Moreover, they require high voltages to operate that imply a complex electronics design. Altogether, these factors increase fabrication lead times and costs and reduce the propulsion system applicability and lifetime. The Hypatia project aims to integrate and validate a complete electrodeless propulsion system based on the helicon plasma thruster technology. Unlike electrostatic thrusters, the HPT doesn't require electrostatic discharges to ionize the gas or to neutralize the plasma, so it doesn't need electrodes, nor the complex electronics and fluidics configuration that electrostatic thrusters need to operate. The thruster ionizes the gas using an antenna that emits radio frequency. The radio frequency discharge is coupled to the plasma with a magnetic field that also acts as a magnetic nozzle to accelerate the plasma, producing thrust. Thanks to the electrodeless design, the system needs less components and becomes simpler, thus decreasing manufacture costs and paving the way to the cost-efficient mass production of small satellites' propulsion systems. Once validated, the Hypatia technology will be able to cope with the propulsion requirements for small satellites for a wide variety of missions and future applications in the space market.